It's a beautiful day. I keep saying that in my intros. I'm not lying though. Because the day is lovely. by Bunnings earlier to grab all of the steel uprights as well as one of the sleeper lugs because I wanted to do a bit of preparation work leveling the soil and unfortunately only maybe one or two of these lugs would fit inside my car I have an SUV and it looks like I might end up having to hire a ute or a van just to get the rest of the sleeper lugs One of the things I have to do here is to ensure that the soil is perfectly level and as you can see, it's obviously not. There's some bumps and some depressions here and this is where this comes in handy. It is a 60 centimeter level tool and with this thing I'll be able to determine if everything's alright. This is the best I can do right now. It has a slight bias to the left, which means that the left, this part is a bit higher. But I believe it would be a lot easier to do a more precise leveling once I have all of the planks. Because all I need to do anyway is to make sure that all of the planks have more or less the same slope, same elevation. And right now you can see that the indicator, the bubble, is between the lines. So as long as I can aim to have all of them the same way and that should be good enough.
that's it. I've got all 13 planks with me and time to go home. Time check, it's 1.30 p.m. and I need to send this youth back by 3.05 p.m. I think there's enough time. here to Bunnings and I'm back in my car now. Glad that's done. Now that everything's here, I need to switch my gardening gear. Now here's all of the timber sleepers that I got. There's 13 here. 14 if you count the one that I already had before. Two of these I need to cut down to 60 centimeters, 600 mils. So I better do that before I start laying them down. Normally, I would have this cut down right at Bunnings, but unfortunately, they only offer the cutting service for planks that are less than a specific thickness. And they specifically mentioned that sleepers are not included. It's a bummer because that could have saved me time, but I've, I've got no choice. So as you recall, I need to mark them. I need to divide them into four. Each piece would be 60 centimeters. I'll go ahead and mark them now. And as it turns out, the entire plank is over 2.4 meters. I need to factor this in my measurements that I made there. And I might have to verify if all of them are the same. Yeah, they are all off by 15 millimeters. To make it easier to saw, I'm going to create a temporary workbench. And for that, I'm going to use the, the rest of the planks, just stack them on top of each other. Yeah. I made four of these and as you recall there are two sides that I'm going to lay them and there are three layers high which means that I would need a total of six planks. This means that I would need to take one more of the planks and make two more of these.
came, I saw, I conquered. Now that everything's here, I no longer need to make precise measurements. I could just carry over these materials, mock them up in the area, create a prototype. And by having them physically there, it would be so much easier to determine whether there's enough space or not. Besides, staging them lets me know that they're in the right spot. So it's always a good idea to do that. I need to do a bit of work here. <laughs> it needs a bit of tweaking, but at least I now know how much area I need to level. Next step is to build holes for the uprights and I think I could use a bit of help here. Help me achieve that. I have this spirit corner which is specifically made for corners. What I'll do is to attach it here and look at the bubbles to make sure they are at the center of their respective containers. So this is one of those cheap but really handy things to have when working on posts like this. It's also magnetic which saves me a bit of time from having to attach it because otherwise if I was going to use this on non-metallic surfaces then I'll need to use this elastic band. Now I have to find and mark out the upper 60 centimeters of this post. That would be somewhere around here. I would need to raise the soil level somehow, go above this area. You know what? I could use the rocks. balanced as all things should be <laughs> <laughs> looks like I'm done with one side and it appears that I was more efficient with the second post so I hope this only improves with the next few ones it's almost 6 p.m. it's getting dark here so I'll continue this some other day this will continue part two of this episode which I'm going to release later this week and if you don't want to miss it make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell I'll see you in part two bye